Our first verse uh, for the month of Ramadan is going to be looking at Surah An-Nisa, verse 104. A very profound verse in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that إِن تَكُونُوا تَعْلَمُونَ فَإِنَّهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ كَمَا تَعْلَمُونَ وَتَرْجُونَ مِنَ اللَّهِ مَا لَا يَرْجُونَ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَلِيمًا حَكِيمًا The verse came down after the battle of Uhud. And in the battle of Uhud, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was wounded. His face was bleeding from three different places. Seventy of the Sahaba had been killed. The uncle of the Prophet had been martyred. The Muslims really felt demoralized. It is factual to point out in the entirety of the seerah. No incident made them feel more demoralized than what happened at Uhud. And Allah revealed after that battle, إِن تَكُونُوا تَعْلَمُونَ if you are in pain, then know that they too are in pain like you are in pain. But there is a difference between the two pains. The two are not the same. If you are in pain, they are in pain. If you are bleeding, they are bleeding. If you have lost some people, they have lost some people. But the two are not the same. Why are they not the same? You have an optimistic hope in Allah. You are expecting something from Allah that they have no expectations for. And indeed, Allah is Alim and Allah is Hakim. Allah is all wise and Allah Azza wa Jal is all knowledgeable. Now, from this verse, let us derive five wisdoms. Wisdom number one, pain, suffering, tragedy, grief comes to Muslims. Allah affirms this, you are in pain. If you are in pain, Ya Rasulullah, O Muslims, if it hurts, which means life is going to hurt. Life is going to be painful. Let nobody assume that just because I have Iman, life is going to be easy. Who told you so? The Prophet ﷺ was in pain. The Prophet ﷺ's heart was hurt because of what the Quraysh did. His face was bleeding because of the attacks. His body had been bruised because they physically hit him. Iman is not going to stop you from the tragedies of life. Your faith in Allah doesn't mean this dunya is going to be a bed of roses. Who said that? In takunu ta'lamuna. If you are in pain, Allah affirms the Prophet was in pain. If he was in pain, do you think me and you are not going to be in pain? If he bled, do you think me and you are not going to bleed? If the Muslims suffered defeat, do you not think later Muslims are going to suffer their own defeats as well? And so, wisdom number one, pain and suffering, tragedy and grief are a part and parcel of this life. And the mu'min will also face that pain and tragedy. Point number two, فَإِنَّهُمْ يَأْلَمُونَ Pain and tragedy is equally given, Muslim and Kafir. And this leads us to our second wisdom. This world is not the abode of demonstrating Allah's pleasure with you. Allah says in the Quran, Allah says in the Quran, Kullan numiddu ha'ula'i wa ha'ula'i min ata'i rabbik. Both groups, the righteous and the wicked, the Muslim and the Kafir, both of them, we are going to give them from this dunya. Our Prophet said, Hadith in the Muslim Imam Ahmad, our Prophet said, Allah gives this world to the one whom he loves and he gives it to the one whom he hates. This is a hadith. Allah gives this dunya to both people. Allah Azza wa Jal gives this dunya to people. In other words, this dunya is not the ultimate test of our status in the eyes of Allah. The Muslim is a billionaire and the kafir is a billionaire. The Muslim is suffering tragedy and the kafir is suffering tragedy. This world is not the abode of demonstrating Allah's final and ultimate status that you have in His eyes. So, فَإِنَّهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ كَمَا تَعْلَمُونَ They too are in pain as you are in pain. Allah, the Prophet ﷺ said, Allah gives this dunya to the one whom He loves and the one whom He despises but he only gives the religion to the one whom he loves. That's what the hadith finishes at. He only gives the deen to the one whom he loves. So Allah consoles the Muslims. Your tragedies and their tragedies are going to happen. In takunu ta'lamuna fa innahum ya'lamun. What is the difference? Wisdom number three. Wa tarjuna min Allahi ma la yarjun. Our iman. Our yaqeen, our tawakkul, our ikhlas, our raja, our hope in Allah, that is the difference. The true tragedies are not the same. The two sufferings are not equal. The two pains are never going to be equivalent. The pain of the Muslim, the pain of the mu'min, the pain of the one who has iman in Allah is not the same as the pain of one who doesn't believe in a God. 
The martyrdom, the tragedies, the suffering of believers is never going to be the same as the suffering of those who don't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah gives us consolation. Allah gives us optimism. Allah gives us a window of hope. Oh Muslims, the two tragedies are not the same. Why? Because you have Iman. And with Iman, you will have optimism. You will have a hope in Allah. What is that hope? Two types of hope. There's a worldly hope and there's a religious akhir. Uh, we hope the worldly hope you hope for Allah's aid you hope for Allah's nasr you hope for Allah's victory you hope for Allah's miracles because when Allah decides to do something the small army will defeat the large army the single person will defeat the crowd so you hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this dunya as Allah says in the Quran if you put your trust in Allah Allah will provide from a means you never expected and whoever puts his trust in Allah is sufficient that Allah will take care of him so you hope in a miracle you hope in Allah's help you hope in Allah's aid and number two even if that help doesn't come even if a miracle does not come down even if you die in pain and grief and tragedy you have a hope that the kafir will never have and that is the hope of Allah's reward the hope of Allah's Jannah the hope of pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala your rewards in the Akhirah can never ever be compared to the nothingness of the one who doesn't believe in the Akhirah so the two are never the same the believer is always a winner the believer is always a victor regardless of what happens in this dunya why because you have hope in Allah that the other person can never have you aspire to a dream a vision you aspire to Allah's pleasure and the one who doesn't believe in Allah can never aspire to that pleasure so point number three wisdom number three Iman gives us optimism. Iman gives us courage. Iman pushes us forward. Iman allows us to look at something in the future. Even if this dunya is, is, is dark and bleak, even if this dunya appears to have turned its back on you, Iman will give you a forward optimism and push you to do what you would not have done otherwise. So this is point number three. Point number four, wisdom number four from this series of verses. The reality of empathizing with pain and suffering. How do I get this? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is consoling the believers. Allah is empathizing with the believers and giving them words of encouragement. Oh believers, if you're in pain, don't worry, it's not the same. There's good news for you. What is this? This is empathy. This is words of encouragement. This is consolation. And this we learned from the Quran and the Sunnah. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he saw somebody in pain, when he saw somebody in tragedy, he would give words of comfort. He would say, may Allah make this difficult time easy for you. He would say, may Allah give you sabr. He would say, may Allah increase your reward. So it is the Quranic Sunnah and the prophetic Sunnah that when we see people in pain, we give words of comfort, words of encouragement. Encouragement. This is the Quranic wisdom point number four and the final one for our time the fifth wisdom Why did Allah reveal this verse the beginning of the verse indicates why Allah revealed it? Don't become weak and lazy in pursuing the enemy after the battle of Uhud some of the Muslims felt demoralized What's the point they won? What's the point? I'm not going to do anything and Allah says do not become lazy do not give up all of this talk of looking forward to Allah's ajr. All of this talk of accepting tragedy and calamity has nothing to do with defeatism. The Muslim is not a defeatist. The Muslim doesn't just give up. The Muslim doesn't just throw in the towel. Wallahi, we believe in qadr. But qadr means we will be motivated to do the best. Qadr does not mean we sit back and let tragedy happen. Qadr does not mean we let the bombs fall and do nothing. We let the whole world boycott and do nothing. Wallahi, we believe in Qadr. And we believe nothing happens except with Allah's Qadr. But Qadr motivates us to activism. That's the beginning of the verse. Don't become tired in pursuing the enemy. The qafila of Abu Sufyan, the people of the Quraysh, they're fleeing away. Oh Muslims, don't become tired. Yes, I know you're in pain. Yes, I know you're bleeding. But the two 
two are not the same. You get from Allah what they do not get. And so be activist, be powerful, do what you can. Put your trust in Allah and never ever falter, never give up. Do not give up, do not falter, and you shall be victorious if you have Iman. In light of what is happening in Gaza and around the world, this ayah takes on a new profound meaning. It is indeed a painful reality, but the two pains are not the same. And just like the Muslims have suffered, the other people have also suffered in their histories such is the reality of mankind just like we are in tragedy once upon a time the others were in tragedy as well but the two tragedies are not the same the two massacres are not the same the two genocides are not the same because we have what they do not have we have Allah and they do not have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we have the help of Allah they do not have the help of Allah we have the akhirah they do not have the akhirah but all of this is a consolation that doesn't mean we just give up and accept no, with this Iman, we get courage, we get fortified, and then we try our best to change the situation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to benefit from this Quranic wisdom, and we'll continue tomorrow. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليصم ومن كان مريضا أو على سفر فعدة من أيام أخر يريد الله بكم اليسر ولا يريد بكم العسر ولتكملوا العدة ولتكبروا الله على ما هداكم ولعلكم تشكرون